Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at another 4 hidden character abilities that you may have missed in Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Now as the title of this video suggests, I have already done a couple of videos that look at these hidden abilities, so if you want to check those out the links are in the description. As usual, just before we begin, remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content on this channel and want to help it grow. Anyway, let's get started. So hidden ability number one is for Rose. So as we know, Rose's arcane enigma ability makes her invulnerable for a short period of time. Well, this ability can actually be used to revive your teammates easily without taking any damage. But to unlock this hidden ability, you have to be using the perk called Super Savior. Basically, this is a perk that costs one perk point and it allows you to jump and use abilities whilst reviving. So what you can do is use Arcane Enigma to make yourself invincible and this guarantees the revive. However, you can't activate Arcane Enigma first then go and revive someone. You have to start the revive process first and then activate the ability for it to work. The next hidden ability is for Captain Deadbeard and it's related to his Anchors Away ability. It's a little tricky to do, but it can be useful if you can pull it off. Now, the primary function of this ability is to allow Captain Deadbeard to get to hard to reach places, giving a height advantage over his enemies, as well as giving him a way of escaping combat if the need arises. However, there is another additional ability that Anchors Away possesses. So instead of using this ability in the intended way, you can actually use this as an ability to deal damage to your enemies. It does a total of 20 damage if you hit the target, and you do this by basically firing your anchor straight at the target. Now I have to admit you'd think this would do more damage as you're shooting an anchor into a plant's face but it's helpful to know how to do it anyway. So to do this you need to first activate anchors away and you'll see the purple arrow appear. Now it's a bit tricky to do in some instances but a good indication to know whether the anchor will hit or not is if you see the red outline around your enemy. But even still it's not guaranteed to hit but basically the closer you are to the target the easier it is to do. So I'd recommend using this in conjunction with the scurvy scatter shot either to do an extra bit of damage or to use it when you need to reload. It has the potential to finish off a character without you having to reload in which time you could have been vanquished by your opponent. Also be aware that once you activate anchors away and the purple arrow appears you can't easily cancel out of this ability so there were a few times when I was getting footage for this video where I was just walking around with the purple arrow for ages. Hidden ability number three is for Citron and this one is super helpful for dealing with z -Mex. So Citron is arguably one of the best defensive characters in the game, mainly because of his insanely powerful shield, but he also has his EM Peach ability, which is designed to be used as a temporary stun, rendering your opponent pretty much useless for a couple of seconds. But there is an additional hidden ability with the EM Peach, and it makes a lot of sense because EM Peach is just a play on the term EMP, aka Electric electromagnetic pulse which can fry electrical circuits. So if you haven't already guessed where this is going, when it comes to dealing with Z-Mex, this ability can be fired at imp and it will drain about a third of the mech's fuel, which is great for getting that pesky imp out of the mech much faster. And if the mech has already used two thirds of his fuel and you use EM Peach, you will destroy the mech, forcing the imp out. The final hidden ability is for Acorn. So recently I've discovered just what a powerhouse Acorn is, let alone Oak. He's really small, making him difficult to hit, has 120 health which is much higher than the other small characters. He does a lot of damage with his primary weapon and is really agile. However, because of his small size, it can be difficult to reach spots that will give you a height advantage over enemy players or escape out of harm's way. But do not fear, this is where Hidden Ability 4 comes into play. So Acorn has an ability called Sap Trap and this essentially is a sticky bomb that can be fired and when it explodes it can do up to 65 damage as well as knock back enemies in quite a hilarious fashion. But you may have noticed that this ability can also knock Acorn back. However, you may not have known that this can be used to your advantage as it can blast you high up in the air which will enable you to escape combat, get to high places and or confuse your enemies. So to get the most benefit from this boost, you need to put the sap trap on the floor, 
then go and stand on top of it. Next you want to jump and when you are at full height activate the sap trap explosion to give you the additional height required to get on top of buildings and a number of other things. So you don't have to jump on it for it to work, it will still fire you into the air but you won't go as high. Also depending on where you stand, for example if you stand on the left side of the sap trap the explosion will fire you to the left. This ability can also be combined with acorn dash so you get the height from sap trap then use dash to propel yourself forward in the air. Now I've actually done this with oak and his super sap trap but as you'd expect it doesn't work. I also believe there is a floating glitch relating to this ability. This has been covered on Psycho Sibs' YouTube channel so if you want to check that out the link is in the description. Anyway guys that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favourite hidden ability was and if you know any other hidden abilities in the comments below. But other than that remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay thanks guys. Bye. Bye.